Hey guys, Kyle with Bug and Bush Draft here. Uh, putting up a video today. Had a request for what I carry in my pack. I haven't put up uh, a kit video in a while. I, I'm not a huge fan of them. But, uh, you know, I've only put one up and it's changed a lot since then. So I figured it'd be worth showing. So, uh, pop this open and uh, show you guys what's in here. Alright, well, first off, this pack is a uh, Swiss rubberized um, pack. It's got leather straps, back strap. Um, most of the hardware on here is leather and steel. And this actually still has the name of the person before me who uh, used it in the military. But um, believe it or not, it's a nice pack. It's kind of heavy compared to a, most packs. And um, it's got a little bit of a metal internal frame here. You can see where they stitched it in. But this actually, believe it or not, does a great job. So this pack, I was, for the weight, it's worth it because it's 100% waterproof. But if I was going longer, I'd switch to something lighter. But start off in this front pouch here. First thing right out of the... Uh, Pouch is my first aid kit. Uh, this is flint and steel. Uh, flint and rock because it's quartz in here. It's my flint and steel kit. Um, this is a little portable candle. I uh, made out of an Alcoid tin. Figured it'd be a nice little thing to have. I'm just kind of experimenting with it right now. Paracord, bug spray, homemade bug spray, trash, uh, like bug ointment, anti-bug ointment, and that's all that's in that front pouch there. That's I mostly have that there just for my first aid kit. And in the main pouch. Have a, I carry this sometimes. This is a uh, East German mess kit. Three piece. I like it because it holds a lot more water for about the same space as this canteen pouch with a uh, stove cup, uh, stove matches. Um, I got a spork in the back here. Uh, a little more rope, seasoning, stuff like that. Uh, next thing is my fence saw. And keep a bivy in here for mostly emergencies. I haven't had to use it yet, but I uh, got it in a trade. And, uh, I like it, so I figured I'd throw it in there. It's not that big. I don't really have that much in there anyway, so I'll show you all of it. After I pull it all out, and you'll see how little there actually is. Uh, this is my tool kit. Uh, saw, backup knife, backup fire steel, flashlight, sharpening stuff. Anything, you know, small tools that I can keep in it all together. And lastly, is Max. And that's it. If I go longer, I put other stuff in um, on my side. Carry this. Say, uh, my belt, belt kit, you just hook it around one of your loops in your pants. And I like to, there's a fire seal on here, I like to tuck it in my pocket so it doesn't rattle around as much. Uh, it's got a pair of leather gloves, uh, the fire steel, uh, a couple things of rope, and a 
little compass thermometer magnifying glass whistle type combination thing I kinda just got it as a gift I mostly just use it for temperature um, rope and my knife so what I keep on my belt that goes with me anytime I go in the woods and on my belt I also either carry a multi-tool of sorts um, these are the two ones I really play around with uh, Gerber diesel and a buck light Isu. Um, I carry those most of the time I normally always have a little folding knife in my pocket this is an optional number five number five um, I most always have some sort of paracord bracelets on my wrist if I need them uh, a watch for obviously telling time how long I've been out there and um, getting directions I get um, and then I normally have some sort of necklaces on me with more paracord on them for uh, just extra rope. So I'll uh, lay this all out and show you how much I actually carry. So as you can see here, not really all that much. Um, that's what I carry on me most of the time. But for the most part, you know, not, not all that much. Normally if I'm just going out quick, I'll get rid of this. It's even less. Uh, and, uh, I'll even sometimes get rid of this. So it's even even less. So I, I don't really ca carry that much. I try and keep it, you know, light as possible because the pack itself weighs a lot more than I would like, but I like the waterproofing, it really works, so. So that's my uh, my video on my kit, I uh, just figured I'd throw it up there, I had a request for it, um, and uh, I hope that answers any questions, and uh, yeah, so, see you in the woods.